What's going on? What's going on? Thank you to everyone who has bought training and thank you to the Nerd Tribe for your well-constructed comments. Woke up this morning and it kind of hit me. The title of this video, we don't have a credit crunch right now, but in the future we will and it will be virtually impossible to fix bad credit in the future. Let me explain. Earlier this year, Mike Randall of the YouTube channel, The Credit Game, got raided by the ABC boys. And there was another girl who had a YouTube channel and she also got in trouble. What they're doing is cracking down on credit repair. One of the things that's getting ready to happen, because uh, Credit Plug did a video talking about they're running social security number verification. Some I predicted in my credit video that was coming. That's not the only thing that's coming. What is going to happen? Like the things that work today to repair your credit, they're not going to work in the future. See, if you have bad credit right now, I figure you've got 24 months, maybe 36 to get your credit fixed because the 609 letters, the, uh, because what they're going to do, because this is what's happening, and this is technology. As technology gets better, it's going to be harder and harder to dispute things off your credit report. Because here's the thing, and this may make the crypto boys get a hard on. Blockchain. They may get it to the point where when you apply for credit, they're going to get your signature, they're going to have some kind of thing with blockchain where you will not even be able to get inquiries that you make currently in this environment if you made these inquiries you can get them off you can get them off Equifax you can get them off Experian you can get them off TransUnion Experian is the easiest one to get inquiries off of but going forward with smart contracts, with you know blockchain, if you fill out a credit app, this is what's going to happen. When you fill out a credit app, they're going to mark your IP address, and they're going to have all of these data points. They're going to be able to like when you go ahead and they're like, hey, it wasn't me, I didn't file for this credit app, and they're going to like on such and such day at the IP address, which. Um, meshes with other that's your ip address so unless someone snuck into your house and filed for a credit report it's you you're not going to be able to get inquiries off your credit report and also the secondary bureaus lexus nexus uh sage stream novus they're going to get stronger because of technology so everything that is working in the realm of credit repair today in the future is not going to work. So if you have bad credit, you need to be working on it over time to fix your bad credit because none of these methods that work today are going to work in the future. The only thing that's going to work in the future is time. You're going to have to literally wage wait until these things age off of your credit report. So like I said, you got 24 to 36 months to work on your credit. Also, when these, because once again, they're, they're coming after the credit repair agencies. They're coming after CPNs. They're coming after all of this stuff because in the future, when you have bad credit, you're just going to be stuck. You're going to be stuck because CPNs are not going to work. None of the stuff that works today will work in the future. 
Also, I'm a person with really good credit. I have a lot of credit cards. And one of the things I'm doing is moving away from using my personal credit. And this is a prophylactic measure. If I don't really use my credit and I don't run up, you know, let's say something really horrible happened to me, something really, really horrible happened and I lost all my money and, but my credit is straight because I'm not using my credit. My thought process today is my personal credit is to be only used in emergencies. Essentially, uh, I got another business credit card coming sometime this week, and that's the only thing that's gonna be in my wallet, except for my American Express Platinum, which I thoroughly enjoy. But other than that, I'm not even carrying my personal credit cards. Everything is moving toward business because what I see in the future, because right now, there is no credit crunch. Um, I've been able to get credit limit increases. I've been, you know, there currently there is no credit crunch. But I want you to think, what will happen if we have a credit crunch, then you get bad credit and you can't fix it? That's a really nasty scenario because what's going to happen is once this is in the play where you cannot fix bad credit. Credit is going to become so important. It's going to become so precious. And there are many people out there who are right now, because they don't have this information, they don't watch this channel, they don't know, they're using their personal credit cards to buy food, to buy gas, to buy medicine because they are financially strapped because their wages haven't gone up and inflation is going nuts right now. So these people are flirting with fire. The last thing that you're going to want to do in the current, in the coming economic environment, you do not want to max out your personal credit cards. That's behavior because what they're going to do there's a lot of predictive analysis software. There's a lot of things that are coming to play. And these, these, these banking, these lending institutions with technology, they're gonna get so good based upon your spending patterns, they're gonna be able to predict if you default. And if you remember the movie Minority Report where they had this AI that could predict if people were gonna commit crimes and they would go ahead and arrest them before they predicted the crime. That's what's gonna happen. You're gonna wake up one morning and literally all of your credit cards are gonna be shut off. They're gonna be canceled. So you do not ever want to max out your personal credit card in the coming economic future. That kind of behavior is going to get you canceled. And what's gonna happen the banks are going to start soft pulling your credit report every month. If you go to your credit report and you look at your hard pulls and then you look at your soft pulls, you will see how often your bank is looking at your credit report. They're going to start soft pulling your credit report a minimum once a month. In some cases, they're going to soft pull it once a week. And if you have a situation where you max out one credit card, they're gonna close it, and then these other banks that are soft pulling your credit report are gonna see that this account is closed, and they're prophylactically going to close your other accounts that have not been run up. As we get into the global reset, as we, and this is so funny, uh, Jamie Dimon said that we're gonna be in a recession next year. Jamie, we're in a recession right now. I am amazed at the number of people who don't want to call this mess that we're in because we don't have the accompanying high unemployment. That's coming. Uh, Intel, I think, just laid off 20,000 people. We're just, we're going to see, and this is going to be heavy, heavy, heavy in 2023. 
you're gonna see a bunch of companies lay off a bunch of people and then we will have the corresponding uh, high unemployment because I feel that this recession was caused by monetary policy. I feel this recession was caused by the CARES Act because if they had just let what was gonna happen, it would have been bad. People would have suffered, but we wouldn't have had the mess that we have now because literally monetary policy and cheap money is the reason that housing prices exploded. And look what happened once they turned off the cheap money. Housing prices are crashing in some, some locales. They're literally crashing. So once again, in the future, if you have really bad credit, you're gonna be screwed. You're gonna be screwed. So how does one not have bad credit? Um, one of the reasons that I like, I, I have this binder, matter of fact, I got all my, my credit cards in this binder, right? And it's pretty full. But one of the things that you guys have got to understand, if you have good credit, 720 and above, and you do not have a bunch of inquiries. I am, I am persona non grata. Uh, I've reached my limit. Even though I have a very high income, even though I have great credit, I cannot get any more credit based on the fact that I opened up literally 18 new credit accounts. That's not including the business accounts, but I have a lot of inquiries on all of my credit reports and Bank of America said, because of the recent number of new open accounts, that's why they would not give me a business credit card. American Express that shut me down on a credit limit increase because same reason. So from now until next December, I am not applying for anything that requires a hard pull or will reflect as a new account on my personal credit. Now, Marcus, um, Marcus has some business products. They have a line of credit and they have a business credit card that will not do a hard pull or appear on your credit report. How do I know? I have them. So one of the things that you want to do in this current environment, because I, I, I will assume that the majority of you have not been getting and opening up new accounts like I have. So you're pretty good to go. So if you have good credit, what you want to do right now is stage your credit report. Now, what do I mean by that? If you have a bunch of low limit credit cards, what you need to do before you start applying for new credit is to raise those credit limits. You want to raise those credit limits as high as you can. Part of what I do is every six months, I go through my credit cards and I ask for a credit limit increase. So if you have a bunch of low limit credit cards, you have good credit, but you have low limits, low limits will be get you low limits in the future. So what you wanna do is raise those limits. And there are some of you who don't really believe in credit. You don't have that many credit cards. I want you to have a minimum of 10 primary trade lines, 10. That's 10 accounts opened in your name with the highest credit limits that you can get for those primary trade lines. And what I want you to do is to get as much credit as you can at the moment, because currently there is no credit crunch. There is no, but this is coming and it's coming. So I want you to get minimum, minimum 10 primary, and this is open, you know, because I literally have like 80 or 90 accounts on my credit report. All of them aren't open. This is just closed accounts. But what you want to do is get a, what's, what's considered a thick credit file. Because if you have a thick credit profile, you have high limits and you have very low utilization in the future, 
you will be able to access more credit while we're in a credit crunch. Those who are well qualified, those with cash reserves will still be able to get credit. But if you are in the process of maxing out your credit cards at the moment, that is going to cost you big time in the future. You cannot be doing that. You just cannot be doing that. Because um, one of the things that I am doing is I'm converting everything to business and what I anticipate, um, I'm waiting to see what's gonna happen to my credit score because I paid this car off. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm waiting for that to hit because it got paid off last month but it didn't report and I don't know what they're waiting on about to report that. But you need to be very vigilant, very on point with your credit because in the future, credit will be, like I said, I'm, I'm being repetitive for a reason. Credit will be so important because when we get into the crypto world, and the smart contracts and all this other stuff, this is gonna tie into your credit score. And I feel that we're gonna have a situation like Minority Report, where we're gonna have machine learning, AI, artificial intelligence, that's gonna be so on point that it can predict based upon your spending patterns if you're going to default on your loans and that's when things are going to get nasty you haven't done nothing and you're going to be denied for credit or you're going to have your credit card shut down so what i would say is you want to um pop position your credit report where you're not using your personal credit right now this is a relatively new thing but this is what I see in the future. And this time, like next year, I probably will use my oldest credit cards. I will every now and then I pull my oldest credit cards out because I got five of them and I'll run like a 10, $20 charge on them and then pay it off and keep it moving. But going forward, my personal credit report will be impeachable because I'm not going to be using my personal credit as a prophylactic measure. My personal credit will be positioned to get me more business credit. And I'm not like, because essentially for years, uh, I've not carried a balance, I've not paid credit card interest because I've been using my personal credit cards like a debit card. I usually will make two to three payments per month and that behavior is going to move over to my business credit cards because going forward, and I want you guys to listen to me. If you get on the bats, because there's going to be new credit scores, new credit ranking systems, and literally you will not be able to rent an apartment with bad credit. Right now, you can rent an apartment, you can rent a house with bad credit, just come up with another month's uh, deposit and you're in there. In the future, that's not going to be the case. It's going to be more like you're going to need five or six months of prepayments to get into an apartment or a house with bad credit. So this is the time that you want to clean up your bad credit this is the time you want to change your money management tactics and strategy because the future is coming. Like right now, you can live, you can exist with bad credit. In the future, it's going to be very, very hard. It's going to be, um, it's going to be crazy. It's just going to be crazy because this is one of the reasons that I am taking the steps that I'm taking because, you know, I got $750,000 in personal credit lines and I've got like 400,000 in business. So I have literally seven figures in available credit and going forward in the future, 
if I ever have a need to carry a credit balance, I want that credit balance on my business credit card because it's not going to report to my personal. Once again, this is the way you, you're going to have to play the game because I'm going to do some training how to set this up because if you have like decent credit, 720, there are business credit products you can get. You can get the American Express, you can get the Chase, you can get some, uh, especially a credit union. If you have a credit union that has business credit cards, you can easily get those. And I'm going to create a training for all of my students how to do this because right now is the time to act. You don't want to be trying to make these moves once these changes happen. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this again, and I'm being repetitive for a reason. In the future, it is going to be virtually impossible to fix bad credit. The only thing that's going to help you out is time. Unless you have a significant event, like you may be in the hospital for six months and you can write some goodwill letters to the creditors that will probably help you out. But if your bad credit is due to bad money management strategies, you're going to be screwed. You're going to be screwed in the future. And like right now, this is the time to be getting the credit, to be maxing out your limits because in the future, it's going to be hard in the future especially with business credit products, you're not going to be able to access a business credit product without showing them your business banking accounts. And for larger trade lines, like if you need a line of credit over 50,000, they're going to want to see tax returns. They're going to see bank statements. There's Plaid, there's another company that literally in the application process, you have to give them access to your business checking to get their products. In the future, this will come commonplace. You will not be like uh, Wells Fargo. To get the Wells Fargo business alight, you have to submit tax returns to get that business credit product. So right now is the time to stack up. Right now is the time to get in. And I, I have a strategy and I will share you with my strategy. Like this year, I cannot get anything else. I'm not applying for anything else because I've maxed out because I have too many inquiries. I have too many inquiries. Now, once these inquiries are over a year, they're not going to have any impact. So my strategy is I'm a Chase banking customer, but I am in Chase's 524 rule. I will exit the 524 rule December. With Chase, the 524 rule applies to personal and business credit products. So next December, I'm gonna roll into a Chase branch, I'm gonna get a new Chase business credit card, and I'm gonna get a new Chase line of credit. Because those are gonna be not a hard pull, but a double hard pull. Chase is gonna hit me over the head two times for that credit card and that line of credit. And I'm just gonna load up with that. Going forward, I'm not gonna apply for any more personal credit cards unless it's something extremely outrageous. Because for me, I feel the best rewards are at the American Express side of the house. And American Express, if you have to spend, can treat you really nice. I mean, literally, I got $250,000 worth of credit in just a few months. So one of the things that you want to do is position yourself to survive this future. This future is coming. And like, there's a lot of people who are going to see this video and they're like, ah, he's just talking. I'm going to get me my CPN. I'm going to like, because this is one of the things, because whenever I go into a bank and I sit down with a banker, and this is another reason that you want to set up your LLC, your EIN, get your business banking. These things take time. Every time I go in to do some business banking, I'm in the branch a minimum of an hour because that process is going to get worse. In the future, it may take you two hours to open up a business 
checking account at one of the major banks. The online banks, I feel that that's gonna streamline that. But with the online banks, you can only open up one account. I'm in a position where I need to have multiple accounts or specific accounts for specific things. And since I'm a veteran, Chase will give you all of my checking accounts for free. So that's one of the primary reasons that I have a lot of accounts at Chase because I can open up a hundred checking accounts at Chase and because I'm a veteran, I don't have to pay any fees. So that's just another thing. But next December, like I'm not applying for anything. I'm gardening because my gardening actually started um, three months ago because I'm gonna garden for a minimum of 18 months so I can let, number one, let a lot of inquiries come off my credit report and I will not even have an inquiry on my credit report until December of 2023. There will be no more inquiries. I'm not applying for anything. I'm not doing any of that stuff, but I'm going to position myself because my goal is to get a million dollars in business credit and I am 600,000 away. Next year, I feel I can, because I've already checked, and it, it, it may change, but I can get up to $250,000 uh, business line of credit with, with providing one tax return, just one. And if I need more money, I have to provide more tax returns. And I need a personal statement and a P&L statement because they want to know all of my assets and all this other stuff. So that's going to be pretty easy because uh, going forward, I am not going to rack up any personal debt. There will be no personal debt whatsoever because I know what's coming. And like I said, you got 24, maybe 36 months before a lot of these changes happen. And what's a lot of you who are on the borderline between good credit and bad credit. And this is something I've noticed. When my credit really got into the 770s, the 800s, I can get an inquiry and my credit score would not dip. But if I was at like 720 and I applied for something, my credit score would dip eight, 10 points for every inquiry. So this is another reason that you wanna have the best credit that you can because even though I am not applying for any more personal credit, business inquiries and like a lot of like American Express, your first American Express account, they double dip. They hit Experian, they hit TransUnion. And then once you have an account that's open and you log in and apply for more American Express products, you can get them without a hard pull. They're going to do a soft pull. And another thing with American Express, um, their business credits. If you have a personal American Express account and you apply for grip business credit products, even if you put your business address on there, they're going to send the credit cards to your house. And American Express is one that you don't want to mess up because literally they give out some of the most generous, um, business credit card limits. Uh, my American Express Business Platinum, I've got a $30,000 pay over time feature on that card. It's only $10,000 on my personal American Express, but I can spend $30,000 on my American Express Business Platinum and pay that over time. And then I have my Delta Reserve Business Credit Card with a $70,000 limit. So right there, that's like, $90,000 in flexible credit. It's way more when, you know, you go ahead and factor in what I could spend on the American Express Business Platinum. So once again, my goal is a million dollars in business credit and nothing's happening this year unless I can find some soft pull business credit products. Cause I feel that, cause once again, I'm not going to do anything with a hard pull cause I need a lot of those inquiries to age off. Cause you know, um, next year, December, 
there'll be a year they'll be on there where they won't have a lot of power. And then December, six months, I'll be two to four months from all of those inquiries coming off my credit report. And at that point, I'll be able to apply for stuff to three to four things per credit bureau and I can, you know, strategy, there's strategy because there's literally my FICO forums, there's credit board forums, there are people who will tell you what credit bureau that these lending institutions are pulling from so you can stage your strategy because you, you have to be very strategic with this. But going forward, I, I know this is probably the fourth time I said that it's going to be virtually impossible to fix bad credit because of technology and everything like um the cpn dude got a little salty because i mentioned his name and he made a video and it's like yeah we're gonna still do what we're gonna do but one of the reasons that you know a lot of people's like i can have a cpn please put in the comments where can you go and get a legit cpn outside of being in the witness protection program let me know what government agency issues cpns and here's the thing, the people are not getting CPNs because they are black and the system has oppressed them. What people are doing with CPNs, they're getting a the CPN, they're building it out, and then they're going to Verizon or T-Mobile and getting 10 iPhones, selling iPhones and not paying the bill. That's what people with the CPNs are doing. They're going out and getting cars, they're going out and getting stuff. They're uh, like getting a Best Buy business credit card, getting $30,000 worth of products, selling them on eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, and not paying the bill. That's what people are doing with CPNs. People are not doing CPNs to live and just survive. They're using these CPNs to commit crimes. But once again, guys, you need to be really vigilant on this because right now there is no credit crunch right now you can still get a lot of credit and this is the time to load up so i got some new training i need to work on that today get that defined and but if you buy the program you will get the new training i will let you know and i'm getting ready to fully emerge from my little break which was really really good really really good so to get the program it's going to be in that first link or the first comment or it'll be in the description box if I forget.